Hello and welcome once again to City Skylines. Now, in the last episode I was talking about the ridiculous number of dead people. And, to be honest, I think I know the reason. I think what's going on is, because I've built these areas up, um, sort of in large areas at the same time, rather than doing small little bits and letting it expand, Lots of people that were the same age moved in at the same time. So as the game has progressed, all of these people have aged at the same time. And now they're all old and all dying at the exact same time. So if we look at some of these houses, four seniors, uh, 12 seniors, uh, six seniors, seven. This is the problem I've got. I've got loads of old people that are all dying, like 24 seniors living in this place. So all these people are dying at the same time, which is causing this mayhem. I think my death care can handle it, and I think if I let the game just run on, it will eventually clear this problem out. So I'm not going to do anything about it. Uh, now the next thing, I would very much like to build a monument. And going through these, some of these look awesome. But the one I want to start with is the ultimate recycling plant. And I want to do this for a couple of reasons. One, because, you know, getting rid of rubbish is a good idea. And two, it creates uh, goods and raw materials from the waste. So that means, you know, it will lower my cost of things that I'm bringing in, or it will raise money because I'm sending the stuff out. So, yeah, that's where I'm starting. Now for that, I need a bird and the bee haven. And that will be in here. So, oh, there. Yes, nice. First try. Now for that, I require 5,000 squares of self-sufficient building, speci building specification built. Okay. So I think what that is, is... That. There we go. That's what it is. So. Really don't need all that. There we go. So we're going to have Goodland Park. That is going to be specified as a self-sufficient area. Now, self-sufficient buildings consume 30% less power, they produce 30% less garbage, but they generate 30% less income tax. Now, I could just designate one of these areas or one of these areas to be a self-sufficient area. The problem with doing that is, as you can see, as I've designated this area to be self-sufficient now, the buildings are being torn down. They're being abandoned by the people living there, and they're being torn down. This is because it has to replace them with self-sufficient buildings. So, I'm not going to do that to a very large populated area that I've already built, because all that will do is drop my income ridiculously. Something I really don't want. Because let's face it, if my income drops ridiculously, I will end up going bankrupt very quickly. So yeah, not happening. Now obviously, for this, we've just got to wait basically until I can build this thing. And well, we've already got 135 squares. Yay. Not there yet, but you know, we'll get there eventually. So rather than just sit around and wait and do nothing, we'll start on the second one. And we'll just sort of try and go through some of these things' requirements. So, ooh, a hadron collider. Hmm. Wow! The hadron collider is put a place for science. 
various research takes place in the facility and it offers education to citizens. A city with a Hadron Collider does not need to worry about education. The facility provides it for all citizens. Holy Hannah. Okay, so we need, what was it, an aquarium? An aquarium. Can I see an aquarium anywhere? There's an aquarium. You're uh, you're you're being built, you know. Um, uh, maybe just here for an aquarium. I make people happy. I love this area. It's just so full of these random, like, unique buildings. It's just like these are the luckiest people on earth if you manage to live here. Uh, right. We need a posh mall now. So this is what it does. Every time you build what it says it needs, it brings up the next requirement. Until you can finally build it. So, a posh mall. Check the things I can't build first, because, yeah. Knowing my luck, it'll be one of those. It's a mall of moderation. Wow, okay. Average garbage piling per building at least 20... So I've got to make the city bad to get that. I don't understand those ones. Surely you should have to make the city good to get bonuses. In some ways, this is why I should just build everything. Because everything requires different things. Of course, the main reason I don't do that is they're expensive. Like that. Have a thousand abandoned buildings in the city? Like, really? I've got to potentially have abandoned buildings just to build an observatory? That makes no sense. Have I missed it? There's a shopping centre. We'll start from scratch and just go through them all. Operation. Posh mob. Literally next to the... God damn it. All tax rates at most are 4%. Holy Hannah. That... Mm. I can do it. Gonna cut into my income quite a bit. Oh, look how much that actually cut into my income. Oh. For 20 weeks. Oh, not a chance can I manage that for the moment. Like... No way in hell. Sorry, you got like a, a week of respite, guys, but now it's back. Like... Look at that. We dropped by 130,000 a week. That's insane. Uh, let's lower the budget on this stuff. 
One thing that annoys me with this is the sliders. I really wish they gave you a box where you could just type the numbers in as well. I mean, give me the sliders if that's what you really want. If you want sliders on your game, fine. But give me the option of typing it in as well. Because it's so annoying twitching a mouse backwards and forwards trying to get a percent different. But never mind. Right. So, yeah, we're, we're probably not getting that posh mall for a while, so... I'm sorry, Hadron Collider. As much as I would love you, we're probably not going to be able to build you. At least not for a while. So... Uh, the Medical Center is a research facility that works on finding cures for diseases and ailments. So vast and efficient that it can easily take care of all of your citizens' health needs. Okay, so that's basically like no schools, no hospitals. Uh, yeah, let's let's try this one then. So we need a high interest tower built. So it's a it's an office space. There we go. One high interest tower. Uh, a courthouse. Crime rate over 50%. <laughs> okay then. So. Let's just lower the budget. For police. So it's non-existent for the moment. Crime rate is ridiculously low because we're pretty good at taking care of criminals. Huh. I mean, by reducing the funding, the crime rate's going up a little, but not a lot. Okay, then. Yes. I should be able to find where they were. Just gotta build these up again once the crime rate goes up. I still don't get it. You've gotta make your city worse so that you can build good things. It's like, what? Why would making the city worse, like, make them go, oh, you know what we really need? A courthouse. No, we need some police, because we've just fired them all. That's what we'd actually need. Okay, we're at 9%. really want to get rid of them all from here as well. Uh. Surely this is also going to stop people moving in for a while, because they're going to be like, no, no, we're scared because of the ridiculous crime rate. Well, all for a courthouse. Mm. 
Let's see if anything else says required for building a medical centre on it. So that's required for an Eden project. That's required for the fusion power plant. Okay, so we need that. Unemployment rate over 50%. Oh my god. How do we even get employment rate over 50%? Delete all the industry? Like, <laughs> I have no idea how we can even possibly get that. Again, I really don't understand why you have to do really horrible things to your citizens to build something wondrous. I mean, surely, by making all your citizens really happy and constantly seeing to their needs, they should let you build wondrous things. Like... <laughs> oh, dear God. Yeah, um... Hmm... Slightly annoying then. Right, how is crime now? Thirty two per cent. Still not up there then, is it? Need you for the Hadron Collider, so you know what, let's just find somewhere to fit you in. What are you? Theatre of. Oh, it has plays. We'll put you here somewhere. Eventually, people will come and you'll actually be sort of needed. <clears throat> Your Eden project. Eden project. I'm not that concerned with the Eden project for the moment. Well, we've certainly got a few abandoned buildings at this point. We might actually manage the observatory by accident. Okay, I need seven universities to build this, which again is for the Hadron Collider. Well, I mean, seven universities isn't that hard, we just build some universities. So that'd be four. Right, we're going to have another one here. There's five. Another one up here. So you guys don't think you're missing out, you can have a third one there. Right. Where was the building that... I was building the universities for. Uh, oh, maintained for five weeks. Oh, that's something else, yeah. Probably need to power these, otherwise they don't care. wouldn't put it past the game for that to matter.
Okay, so we've got one week of a ridiculous crime rate. Uh, Grand Library uh, maintained for 10 weeks. So, yeah, we're on our way for the Grand Library as well now. Still need a lot more buildings for the bird and the bee haven. Uh, you know what, let's put a road in here somewhere. Really? I can't just snap straight to it? can join up there. Put a few buildings here and there. Stop jumping all over the place. Right. Get rid of those. I would like actual buildings there instead. Hopefully. It'll get connected up enough. Wow, 66%. Well, that's what happens when we're trying to build stuff. There we go, one courthouse. So the courthouse can go right there. Now let us get police stations back. Oh, stop jumping round, you stupid game. When I zoom out too far, unfortunately, that happens a lot. Um, kind of an annoyance. I apologise. Just know it is as annoying for me as it probably is for you. We're going to have so many police stations after this that, yeah, no crime will ever be committed here again. And then somewhere it will tell me that I need a high crime rate again for something. And I will be rather annoyed. Right. Uh, you know what? Yeah, one can go just up there. One can go there. And we've run out of money. Yeah. Always a good thing. Wow, look at that crime rate drop. Just like people going, oh look, there's police. We haven't seen those for a while. Losing quite a bit of money at the moment, mostly because everyone's moved out because of the high crime rate. And we are now in the red. Damn it. Okay, loans. 
all of them. Uh, I want a police station up here as well because we don't actually have one down there. We're going to need some police stations around here too. Because again, we don't have any around here. area wasn't it something like that might be a good idea to have one in the middle here as well actually Everywhere is quite bad, but we are getting rid of our crime rate quite quickly now. I think we've got sufficient cover once again. I have a local police station just there. Look at this! Like constant police in that area needing, or constant crime in that area needing police officers. Um, again, it might be an idea just to have a police station down by the docks, just to clear up some of this area. But yeah, 9% crime rate, we have definitely got it down. So, happy about that. So there's the courthouse built. Um, ah, the Grand Library. some of my universities now because let's face it really don't need seven of them four of them yeah you know what I'll, I'll stick with four will you stop jumping about game Yeah, no point keeping seven of them, because all it does is increase our costs. Uh, oh, costs. Budget. Police now have a proper budget again. That would definitely help, wouldn't it? Well, the police got the crime rate down to seven with that budget, so... Yeah, that's pretty good, I mean... And they've got garbage piling up, lovely. Right. So you need the bird and bees. Um, push mall. Um, oppression office is what this thing needs next. Where is that? There. So I need the unemployment rate. God damn it. Oh. That is ridiculous. Oh 
my abandoned buildings getting up there. Oh, stop jumping about, game. Jeez. Um, turn that into housing, please. And you know what? Turn turn that into housing too. Well, actually, let's put a road up like that. Then turn that to housing. I would also like a recycling plant. Just there. Yes, the noise will annoy some people, but should help clear out the rubbish. Hey, look at that. Houses being built. Lovely. And everywhere's got water already. Dealt with that. See, foresaw that as an issue. Well, we're on our way to building some of these. I don't know how many requirements they have, but the more unique buildings we unlock and get placed, the sort of better we'll be, or the closer we'll be to getting them done. Wow, 2,000 squares of a commercial zone? Jeez. Of course, as we're building this area up, we are building up our birds and the bee haven. So, eventually, when this is all covered, that will potentially be 5,000? I don't know. It's not like a lot of this is actually covered in that zone, is it? Yeah, like, really not a lot. So, if that got it to 1,500, hopefully doing the rest of it will get us up there. Again, I apologise that it's kind of jumpy. Not a lot I can do about it, unfortunately. There you go. Have some more zones full of people. Maybe with a little bit of commercial actually in there as well. Probably help it. But I think that's where we're going to end the episode guys. So we've got a bit of money in the bank. Uh, ready to build more of these monuments later. Uh, I'm expanding in a slower sort of pace partially to see if I was right about this. As you can see, we have cleared out all of the dead, it looks like. So we've still got some abandoned houses and buildings, but at least no massive, you know, dead. So that's always a good thing. But thank you very much for joining me, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you next time.